In today's episode, we are signing one of these players to come in and replace Riyad Mahrez. And we've already gone ahead then and done some business in this window. Nathan Ake plus 25 million, bringing in Anashio. And we also played our first game of the season last episode, taking on Liverpool in the Community Shield. And yeah, guys, we lost on penalties again. For today's episode, not only are we going out and making a signing, we're also playing the first four games in the Premier League season. And last episode, as you guys know, we revealed the new home and away kit. And here is the new third kit for this second season. And to be honest, guys, I think he smashed it once again. Looks amazing. Again, different sort of colour scheme as well. Nothing's the same. It all stands out. So we're going to see it in action in today's episode. And with all that being said, then, you guys know the drill. We're looking forward to today's episode. Don't forget, drop me a like down below in the video. Hit the subscribe button if you're new. And let's get into it. Here we go, then. First comment in the press conference, which says, Promote Ose and loan him out. He will grow very nicely. You can promote him with the cheat table. I did say, then, towards the end of last episode, we need to take a look at the Youth Academy and start removing some of these players that we're not going to promote. Because the potential on some of these guys have really dropped. And I mean, really dropped. But Jamie Ose, we always said we would promote him. And if I can use the cheat table to do it, then I'll do it. And now, straight into the next comment, then, which says, when there is a home slash away game, just put both teams in their home kit unless there is a clash, of course. And yeah, last episode, you guys seen, we played against Liverpool at Wembley. Whenever there's a neutral ground, I try and remember to put both teams in their home kit. And now for the final comment and in today's episode, which does relate to today's episode, and it says, I really think you should sign Leroy Sane because in real life, Mane joined Bayern and he's not going to get game time and it would fit in perfectly to your team. Love the videos. Yeah, and of course, then that is the big question in today's episode. Which one of these players do we go ahead and sign? I like the idea of all of them. Obviously, I wish I could sign all of them. But it's only one of them, and Sane is leading that race. And so I'm just going to head then and update some of the players' ages in our youth academy. As you can see, Morgan Breen is now 16. He was 14 a second ago. We're going to see if we can promote him. Now, you can see these players here, they've got the highest potential. I think, if anything, Ose will promote him anyway. Let's see. Okay, it works. It works, guys. So I'm going to remove probably everyone from Binks downwards. Truman, he, he was a great player once, but just not anymore by the looks of it. So, these definitely top four players are going to get promoted as well. And let's find out then if they are in our squad. There he is, Jamie Ose. Guys, age 16, I think that's the only way around it, but it makes sense. There's no point having him age 14. So, I'm going to go ahead, loan him, and loan the other players as well. I think it's time that we start talking about signings right now. The main reason we're here in today's episode. Again, Ayozabal, Sane, Gnabry, which one do I go ahead and sign? And I mean, Gnabry now 27. I think we can move him from the list. Sane and Ayozabal. It's, it's hard to decide which one. And you know what, then, guys? Considering last season when we signed Rafael Leal and I said Sane will leave him till season two, I think it's only right we go ahead and sign him and see how he does on his return to Man City. So I think then the assistant manager recommends between 63 and 70 million to bring him in, which again is fine. We've got 300 mil. <laughs> we do not need to have to worry about money. So I'm going to go straight in here with 62 and a half. Because again, like the comment says, Mane then makes the move to Bayern, which he has done in his career mode. Um, they don't need Sane. Okay, they want Nkunku and 16 mil. They're not having Nkunku. They're not having him. So let's go in. We're at 62. Let's go in with 67 and a half. Come on, Bayern. Surely you can let this guy go. I mean, you're not going to use him. 67 and a half. And there we go. Do you agree? And the only thing left to do then is get the contract out of the way and get Sane into the, into the team. Get him into the games in today's episode. Because I want him to play on the right side this time. Cutting in on that left foot. Because I think he's got like 83 finishing. And I want some of that in our team. So right now, squad roll. I want to go with... He's not going to accept rotation. But important because he will play most games on the right, of course. So will he accept that? And he will. Okay, great. Moving forward now into the length. Five-year deal. I don't think he'll accept that. Okay, he will. Okay. Disregard release clause, now into the wages on 155k. If anything, I'm just going to match that. 155, maybe sign-on bonus. 500k seems to be quite a lot, to be honest. So 350 still might be a lot, but let's submit the offer. Matching the wages, 350k signing on. Sane, is he going to accept? No, he's not going to accept for that much. Wow, okay. Okay, quite a lot of work to do on that front. 1.5 million signing on. I'm going to up that to 1650. Submit the offer. That should be a done deal. Should be a done deal now. Wow, okay, still not a done deal. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and accept. And there he is then, guys. Leroy Sane returns back to Manchester City. Now, in terms of the wages, I feel like we kind of overpaid a little bit on the signing on bonus. I was way off what he wanted, but he's back in the club. And I'm wondering then what kit number to give Leroy Sane because Julian Alvarez has just been unveiled by Man City and he's got number 19. So, Sane, I don't know what kit numbers are left available. Let's find out right now. What can we give him? Here we go. Leroy Sane, change the kit number. His number, I want to say, okay, no, Leal's got number 11, Grealish 10. I don't know what kit number to give him. I have no idea what kit number to give him, guys. 15? 
you know what? I'm going to leave it. You guys let me know. And let's not forget as well, and develop plan wise, if anything, I want to improve that weak foot because I do want to play him on the left hand side and cutting on his right foot. That would be handy. So. Inverted wide midfielder works. And I think that's going to be our last signing in the summer transfer window. I don't feel like we need to go out and sign anyone else. If we do, it's just going to be overkill at this point. I mean, right now, I'm happy with how the team is looking. Sane on the right, Bowden on the left, Haaland up front. That should work really, really well. I'm getting the midfield looking strong as ever. Back line looking strong. Down in the reserves, I'm going to try to get a lot of these players out on loan if possible. You've got players like Almeida, which again, need to get him out on loan. Porro, trying to get him sold to Sporting if possible. Mares, trying to get him sold as well. And straight away then, we promote Jamie Ose and Nottingham Forest come in and try and sign him. You can see if you'll follow him. Man United, yeah, I'm blocking that. I'm not selling him there. This guy, yeah, we accepted that offer. Ose, I don't want to sell him. I want to loan him out, so let's reject the offer. Okay, here we go then. First game of the season, taking on Everton. We should be able to sin this and get the win. There you go, 2-0. Mikalenko getting injured for Everton, but 2-0 win. And we got two injuries in that game. Okay, now we're talking. Borussia Dortmund coming in for Riyad Mahrez. Again, United came in last episode. I couldn't sell him to United, but Dortmund, I can happily go ahead and accept. And there we go, the no deal is complete. Mahrez makes his move to Dortmund. And I mean, sold him for 46 million. We signed uh, Sane for 76, so I feel like it's good business. And now a second game this season. We're taking on Aston Villa. Rotate the squad just a little bit for this one. Players like Grealish coming in and, you know, when Kunku comes on anyway, Sane scores his first goal on his return. De Bruyne missing a penalty. And here you can see then how the table looks after the first two games. See Wolves, they play three, but they're on top of the table. We're hoping to get a win and go top as well. And here we go, and let's play our first game in today's episode, taking on Spurs. We're at home for this one. Again, last season in Champions League, beat them twice. Fairly easy. Haaland getting a hat-trick in the first one. Quite easy as well, so let's go into it. Okay, Spurs trying it over the top early on. Lucas Moura wins the header, but that's easy there just for Laporte to clear. But right now, it looks weird seeing Sane with 37 on the back of his shirt. So you guys have to let me know what kit number to give him. Okay, here he is. Here he is. Sane talking about him. Rodri. Okay, we're still going apparently on this attack. Inside. Okay, that works. Nope. That works. Oh, maybe, maybe it doesn't. I've just noticed as well, Spurs don't even have Lloris in goal. So, I don't know what's happened there. Has he retired? Has he just decided to leave the club? I don't know. Surprised seeing that. But here comes Spurs. Oiberg. Oh, no way. Mora. Mora's in behind. Cucurella left to deal with this one. Okay, not dealt with. Harry Kane now. Again, if he gets a shot away, you're always in trouble. You're always... Basuma. Okay, there we go. Laporte just gets a foot in. Oh, win that. That's easy. Sane. De Bruyne finds the pass on. And Kunku, okay, looking to get past his Spurs defence, of course. Five at the back, going to be difficult. De Bruyne just looking for, okay, and Kunku, I can see the Cucurella's available. Cucurella, you know what, go on. Okay, go on, head up the back post. De Bruyne maybe, oh, yeah, easy save. Oh, Spurs once again, using Lucas Moura to get in behind. Ball over top. Cucurella, you should have done better. You should. Okay, okay, Lucas Moura helps us out. Here comes Spurs to start his second half. Looking dangerous in this game, Spurs. I'm not going to... I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie, guys. They're looking a lot better than they did last season when we faced them. But here we go on the counter now. Haaland. Cowell making a move to Newcastle. Interesting. De Bruyne. Oh, go on, Haaland. Go on. Haaland, please. Please. And it's 1-0. And it's 1-0. With the ball from De Bruyne. Over the top. There we go. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Now we've got the first one. We should be able to start getting a few more in this game. And I say a few more because we are creating decent chances. Again, this one here. Ball over the top. Goalkeeper comes to and then he decides not to and... Haaland scores. They keep trying that ball over the top to Lucas Moura. Again, it worked in the first half, but I think Cucurella now has sort of got his eye on that. And he understands that that's what they're trying to do. Foden inside Nkunku. Finds Haaland. Looking at that run from Nkunku, but Haaland may be able to get a shot away and he can. Wow. Wow. Is this guy for real? I feel like this season, Haaland is going to really break into his own now. Because, of course, last season, De Bruyne, I think, did outscore him, which is quite embarrassing, I'm going to be honest. But Haaland did play less games through injury. But this season, I think Haaland's going to really, really come into his own. You know, second season in the Premier League. Look at this. Look at this. On his own. Bang. <laughs> wow. Rodri forward. De Bruyne. I can see Sane making that run. Let's get him in behind. Oh, what a ball. Finish. Sane. Guys. Guys, we have built a super team. We have built a super team. De Bruyne. What an assist that is. What an assist. Sane looks so good in that, in that kit, by the way. That kit, I really do like it, you know. I really, really do like it, but that assist from De Bruyne made that goal look so much better. Look at this from De Bruyne. Look at that ball through. Bang. Sane, the touch on his left foot in the back of the net. Calvin Phillips. Cancelo plays it down. Okay, Sane's going to get out to that one. Working inside. Sane, maybe. Okay, actually, you know what? Whip across in. Good cross. De Bruyne. Over the bar. Great header. Finds Haaland, who is on a one-on-one -on -one right now. Haaland, can he just squeeze past? Oh, look at that. Great work. Bang. Smash that in. Oh, my... <laughs> Oh my. 
And there we go then, guys. Full time in this one. 3 no win against Spurs at home. Yeah, I think Haaland this season is going to have his best season yet. And with that win, then we do manage to go second in the Premier League table. Our next game is taking on Manchester United. And we're just moving on then to deadline day right now. I'm quite annoyed that we haven't really loaned out many players. I mean, guys, I'll quickly show you the squad hub right now because we've got so many young players in the team. I kind of want to loan out. No loan offers coming in. And as soon as I said that then, Poro, we do manage to sell him to Atletico Bilbao. Again, it isn't sporting, but we do get him sold. 35 million added to the budget. Howard Bellis... Loan offer coming in. Exactly what I want. Two-year loan. Let's accept. And at least then one hour to go on deadline day. We do manage to get some more players out on loan. But I want to show you guys who Liverpool have just signed. Um, yeah, they're really going to try and push for a title again this season. Let me show you guys. Jude Bellingham has made the move to Liverpool. As you can see, and he's signing for 54 million. Well, here we are then into the next game. Taking on Manchester United right now. As you can see, United side. Ronaldo's going to lead the line. And apart from that, it's a normal United team. Our team. Realish coming in for Nkunku. I'm going to play in our third kick. So I said to you guys, we're going to play in it in today's episode. So, yeah, let's get into it. And I've just noticed as well, and Erlen Haaland has gone up to 93 rated. He, he is something else. Honestly, when you shoot with him, it's almost like sliders are on because his shot power is that strong and it just flies, you know, towards the net. Gugurella able to get the ball up. Foden, you know what? Foden, get on the run. Grealish, okay. F uh, Haaland's going to be difficult to get it to him. Nope. Foden trying to work inside here. Godalo stopping him. Okay, Haaland dropping deep, helping with a build up. Grealish across to De Bruyne. Come on, Haaland, make that run. Okay, okay. Grealish now, maybe. Back to Haaland again. Haaland, poor first touch. Poor first touch. Okay, what a ball. What a ball that is. Finds Alanga out on the right hand side. And he's offside. Okay, never mind. Poor ball. Whoa, it's, it's a good ball, but it's the poor run. Okay, this isn't good. This isn't good. Ronaldo running on through. We're running back. Is he okay? <laughs> Ronaldo, seriously? Seriously? How has he got out of that? How? Fred. Nah, no, Fred always scores. Fred always scores or does something in a game like this. Always. There we go. Wait. Oh, that's better. Where's our defence? Where's our... What's happened? Okay, Cucurello again. He, he really is starting to develop into a really great player here. Because then we, we was in trouble. Really, really in trouble. De Bruyne out to the left. There's space. There's players there. Cancelo on the overlap. Sane's inside. Haaland's down in the box. Don't know what happened there. Sane. You know what? Hit that. Go on. I thought I was going in. I thought I was going in. All the praise that I give Cucurella. And it's all come down to this. And Alanga scores. Literally all the praise I just give Cucurella. And Alanga scores against us. Okay. Okay. You know what? You know what? United seem to turn up in these games. Yet you put them against any other side in the league. And they just don't turn up. Yeah, against us, I don't know. They're, they are at home as well, but look at this. Cucurella just chasing back and chasing back. But just before that, he overcommitted on challenge, didn't win the ball. It allows Langer just to run him through. Grealish, here we go, De Bruyne. Go on, De Bruyne. Oh, okay, Grealish on your left foot. We need to work on passing with certain players, finishing with certain players, because what's going on in this? I think it's safe to say that we need to make some changes at half-time right now. I don't really know who to take off. Again, Grealish is doing okay. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know who I could bring off the bench as well that would change the game. I think, if anything, let's go into the second half, see how we go, and then maybe make a change. Here come United now on the counter. They just took Alanga off, brought on Rashford. Interesting change, by the way, because Alanga's their goal scorer, so why'd he take him off? But here you go, Rashford. Fresh legs. Could cause the problems, and he doesn't. Ronaldo plays it. Fred. We need to get someone over to him. We need to get someone over to him. That's not what I wanted, because I just pulled him out of position. De Bruyne. Okay, yeah, again, it's, we just can't get out of our own half at the moment. We are struggling in this game. Oh, go on, go on, go on, feed him, feed him. Liao, 1-1, one, one. Rafael Liao, there you go. That is what you call a super sub. Comes on, literally comes on and impacts straight away. Literally seconds after coming on. That is what I want to see. Exactly what I want to see. Plays the 1-2. I'm guessing with De Bruyne. I don't know who we played the 1-2 with. I'm guessing De Bruyne. Let's see, ball roll, pass. And yeah, De Bruyne, there you go. Bang, bottom corner. Could still get the three points. Cucurella. No. No. If United score, they're going to play the pass. They're going to score off the post. Rodri. Just cleared out of the way. Okay. It's a decent clearance. Sane. Make the run. Sane. Run. Sane. If he fails that pass. Okay. If he, Haaland would have failed that pass there, I would have been so annoyed. Sane. Great work. Play that down. Haaland. No. Luke Shaw. What? What an interception. United still could be looking at a late winner. Laporte with a block. Fred. Oh, go on, just clear that. Okay, there you go. Come on, just just maybe one last attempt. No. Okay, full time. I'm telling you, in these games, United turn up. But any other game, and oh, I don't know. I just don't know. And there we go, then, guys. We're going to finish it there for today's episode. As you can see from the menu, next episode, we're going to start in the Champions League. You guys are going to find out our Champions League group. So if you enjoyed it, don't forget, drop me a like down below. Hit the subscribe button, and catch you in the next one.